Storm damage right here on Fox 2 News at 5 yesterday. The storms that moved through caused power outages and costly damage and issues. And Fox 2 meteorologist Bridget Mahoney is live with why some people got hit hard while others just saw rain and lightning. Bridget? Yeah, you know, some people may be saying, what are you talking about? We didn't see anything while others are recovering from some of this damage. That's exactly what we saw here in Millstadt. You can see this is a barn. The roof of the barn completely pretty much blown off. A few pieces still remain. And actually, this farm is right next door to Eckert's farm. And at Eckert's, their apples nearly untouched. I've never seen anything like that. Yesterday's storms causing extensive damage from areas west of St. Louis to the Metro East, like at Mark Furrer's farm in Millstadt. The majority of the damage from winds and lightning. Mark County nearly 40 mature trees damaged or completely uprooted. And his barn? Looks like I have a sunroof now. So we came over to the farm and saw no debris on the way. No branches, no leaves, no twigs or anything on the street. His neighbors escaping the storm. So it seemed to be a very localized event aiming for my hay barn. Many thinking of localized damage like this only from tornadoes, but not the case. And it's so localized, that's what I didn't understand because the neighbors said we had a little rain, we had some wind, but they didn't have any damage at all. The explanation, straight line winds can be localized, also known as microbursts. This is when the core of the storm collapses aloft, sending strong gusts of cooler air down to the surface, creating a funnel of straight line winds in a specific area. With damage, Amron was busy. At its peak, 25,000 customers without power. We had crews work all through the night to restore power. And the reason we did that is because um, it's hot. You know, we understand the inconvenience that this has for our customers. And at last check, around 3,000 Amron customers still without power. That's in Missouri as well as Illinois. You can see the tin roof of the barn here. The farmer has actually collected it, but there are several other pieces of the roof that are actually still missing. You can see a collection of tree branches as well as some wood that's no longer good. But also, as you look over here, you can see some pieces of wood which are still good. He said a farmer never waste any pieces of wood. Reporting live in Milstadt, meteorologist Bridget Mahoney, Fox 2 News.